40 years on, I consider myself so very lucky that I escaped with, and I say this, just 27% um, burns, but 19 shipmates didn't come back. And that's the sad thing. And two of those lads used to work for me. And I remember at action stations that night, they come to me in the operations room. <clears throat> what to do? I sent them down as spare hands. And they both died. So you live with that guilt, if you like. When we first were alerted to the fact that Argentina had invaded uh, the Falkland Islands, sovereign state, nobody in that ship or any other ship that I've ever spoken to thought that we'd end up in the conflict that we did, losing, losing the lives, that we, 255 lives and three lives of the Falkland Islanders. We all expected it to be a diplomatic solution and within days they would see sense, they'd leave, Argent uh, the Argentine forces would leave the Falklands. Days later, when HMS Conqueror um, sunk Belgrano, we realised that many hundreds of Argentine sailors had, had lost their lives. And that was tragic. So we realised then that this was, a, this was going to be a, a bloody conflict and that lives would be lost um, on both sides. 25th of May, we are bound to be a target that day. It's the Argentine National Day. We knew that they were looking for high value targets of that day. It was a bright sunny day. It was blue skies, calm seas. It couldn't have been any worse for us because the Argentine pilots were using visual methods of targeting. We got to late afternoon, coming to early evening, and we had intelligence telling us that more Argentine Air Force, Argentine Air Force had left air bases in mainland Argentina and no doubt on our way to us and it wasn't I was in the operations room just about to tell the captain we're about to be attacked by the the Skyhawks and the next thing there was this dull thud from the port side we, we'd definitely been hit followed by a blinding flash and a fireball rolling around the ops room um, then everything went into slow motion um, as I come to, my arm was on fire. I was putting out my arm with my other hand, with my left hand, my right arm was on fire. I realised I was in a lot of pain, a lot of distress. Um, I was practically naked at that stage. Just a bit of material off my collar and in my underpants and boots. The rest was blasted away completely. My back, um, face, arms and legs had lost a lot of skin completely off my back. There were fires all around the operations room. There was thick black smoke. Um, choking smoke everywhere and then I got an image of my wife and my boys saying and I thought my life um, won't end here and made my way out. By this time the ship was over 30, 40 degrees and, and clearly was going to go under. But I did slide down the ship's side, um, drill took over so you put a life jacket on and you, you put one arm over and you pinch your nose and you slide down and take your chance. But I'm a good swimmer and uh, Hitting the cold salt water of the South Atlantic was, was first aid for me and the burns, it arrested the burns going too, too, far, too much deeper into my body and swam to a life raft. The Falkland Islands themselves are an amazing place um, with all the wildlife there and the Falkland Islands people. And then you realise why well, you did it. I, don't, I didn't always feel, like, feel the need to talk about any of it and we probably keep it bottled up. Most men do. You don't cry. Men don't cry, do they? I mean, people will tell you it's not your fault. Well, you know it's not your fault. I know it wasn't my fault. Um, but what happened, happened. And so you, that's, you get a guilt from that, definitely. Why am I here and why are they 19 that were, some of them only, you know, not many feet away from me aren't here. I mean, everybody in that computer room, literally a stone, you know, just a 
10, 15 metres away in that compartment, off to my right, all died, all lost their lives. I'm, I'm still on that ship now. I'm certainly very proud to have served. Um, well, I did 26 years in the end in the Royal Navy. It's extremely important that um, we remember and continue to remember and personally as a chairman of HMS Coventry I will never forget and um, I hope and I don't think any of my shipmates will ever forget. If you would like to help veterans like me please play the Veterans Lottery.